I only take it down because I realized these other people were making these videos like um, more plates, more dates, Greg Doucette, um, even like someone like Kenny Ko. All right, let's jump into the video, guys. Our boy Isaiah Miranda, the natty daddy, 21 year old with naturally occurring 21 per nanogram deciliter blood levels of testosterone is out here making response videos to Greg Doucette, more plates, more dates, and he mentioned me as well for why he removed his video. Yeah, now I've yet to watch it. I've seen comments, I've had people send it to me. So I wanted to give a little bit of a reaction and let's see what his response is. Hopefully it's him coming clean about being unnatural, but I'll, I'll stay open-minded and I can probably assume He's just gonna come up with some cover-up story. Down, and let me tell you like, why I took it down. Right, I only take it down because I realized these other people were making these videos, like um, more plates, more dates, Greg Doucette, um, even like someone like Kenny Ko. They make these videos, and I've seen like the videos like this on the internet. These natty or not, um, like claims or like calling people out, and I and I and I saw them, but I never experienced it myself. And I, and I'm like, so l let me stop him there, Isaiah. I'm not doing it to come at you or come after you. I'm honestly saying it with the best intentions so you have a longevity in your fitness career. Just be open and transparent with your audience, man. Like people see through so much bullshit these days. There's so much information readily available online. People don't sell into individuals lying and selling cookie cutter programs and being fake natties these days. Transparency will get you so much further Trust me, and you're not gonna be discredited for taking whatever you were taking, but it's not people coming after you. I'm not doing it because I have some vendetta out for you. It's just based on a video you made where you are still, at least in my opinion, currently lying to your audience and the people watching. Just be open. I mean, it's really that easy. And I'm like, I'm pretty new to like this industry, right? Like, I, like I moved, I just moved to LA a couple couple weeks ago, and I'm like, I'm, I'm building up, right? So like, I'm a whole, like totally new to it. And like it made me feel like a little like it made me feel a little uncomfortable. I'm seeing all these these people making these videos and then all these comments. Oh yeah, you're fake natty. You're fake natty. Oh, you're lying. You're on SARMs. You're on steroids. You do this. You do this. You're lying to everyone. Blah blah blah. All right. So if it made you feel uncomfortable, put yourself in Michael Hearn's shoes. The man has been called a fake natty for God knows how long now. What twenty plus years would be my guess off the top of my head. And I've made numerous videos on him. But also, I mean, if you plan to actually be a YouTuber, a social media influencer, you have to be able to take the criticism, man. Uh, regardless if you are actually natural, unnatural, whatever you are doing, there's always gonna be people who go against what you say and are gonna write YouTube comments, make videos about you. You have to be able to take it, especially if you're in LA. I'm surprised Bradley Martin, because it looks like you're around Brad a lot. I'm surprised Brad wouldn't like tell you or give you some advice, you know, pertaining to the subject. And it made me feel uncomfortable. And then, like, I realized that it's not even the fact that, like, these... Because I know my truth, right? And I know what I've done, what I haven't done. And I know that they can't speak my truth. And, I, and, and I'm true to myself. But then I, it made me realize that these people, like Greg Doucette, Kenny K.O., More Plates, More Dates, they literally make their living off of most of their videos about just tearing other people down or just trying to make other people look like idiots or calling people out. And I didn't want to... to... Bro, he's so misinformed. Like, okay... So there's one thing I want to say. Now, I think all of our channels differ a little bit from channel to channel. So what I'm saying is Greg Doucette compared to my channel, compared to More Plates, More Dates. I know we're all very different. We all fall in a very similar niche. But to say that we are entirely made up of calling people out and going after people, it's just not the case. That's just the most popular videos and it's because the people bring it on themselves. And what I'm saying is, you're not gonna see me go after, for instance, just off the top of my head, Jay Cutler. Super honest, super transparent, super down to earth guy, will tell you everything you need to know in person. He will do everything by the books. Now, Jeff Side, Mike O'Hearn, um, Callie Muscle, you know, these guys that deserve to have the information brought to light and be, I guess, quote unquote, exposed or gone after, of course they're gonna have videos made on them because they're shedding a bad light on the fitness industry. And this isn't any shade, by the way, throwing towards like Kelly Muscle, Michael Hearn, Jeff Side, anything like that. I'm just giving reference to videos where people need to know what is going on in the grand scheme of things. Paint the full picture for them because there's people 21 years old like yourself or even younger that are just getting into the industry and have absolutely no idea. 
um, you know, and the internet, like I mentioned, is so readily available, but that's definitely not the emphasis of the channels. Call outs obviously get the most views because people want to see it and they want to see the confrontation and everything like that. But there's also a deeper message being like translated throughout the videos so that people benefit from it and can learn from it. Keep feeding into that and keep giving them what they want. They're literally making money. They're literally make, getting all these views, these AdSense, these, these Google ads, everything, right? They're literally making their living and, and their views and, and all this other stuff, building their channels off of tearing other people down. So I was, so in my, in my head, I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna keep. I mean, the man ain't wrong. I mean, I bought a house off doing it, but like I mentioned, it's not to intentionally tear people down. It's just to spread the truth of how things are, what they are taking, what they are selling, what they are doing, not being, you know, just selling people on these false dreams and expectations for the natty or not. I mean, there's so many other genres and everything to call people out on, but that's definitely not what it's all about. But I mean, hey, call outs did uh, get me views and buy me a house. I'm not gonna keep giving them what they want and, and leave that up there. Now let me tell you why I got my blood work results done in the first place, right? So first of all, like, I, I'm, a, I'm a content creator, right? Like I'm in the fitness industry and I'm trying to show you guys and just like bring you guys along, be as transparent as possible. I wasn't feeling good. I haven't had a sex drive for a while. I was I was overtraining a lot. My body was feeling a little sore. So I was like, oh, let me get my blood work done, right? And that's exactly what I did. And then the test results came back. Like at like the test results came back low, and they and I figured they were gonna be low from talking to certain people. Dude, <laughs> your test results did not come back low. Your test results came back basically zero. I know 70 year old grandmas, 70 years old who probably have a higher testosterone level than you do, but yet they have nowhere near the physique or everything you have achieved. So what does that tell me? I mean, I could go off of so many avenues to pinpoint why he is not natural, but he couldn't have built the physique he has, in my opinion, being at 21 nanograms per deciliter in his blood levels that he got. <laughs> I could go to the nearest retirement home go up to some of the oldest ladies that are residing there, have them give me some blood levels, and then guess what? It'd probably be higher than 21 nanograms per deciliter. Low from talking to certain people, um, and they came back low, and then, and then, like, I didn't know that what I was doing was bringing, a, making me, that's the reason it was making me feel that way, you know what I mean? The test results came back low, right? And then I was thinking about, and then I, I shared that with you guys, right? And First of all, why would I post a video, right, that's going to expose me as being a, a fake natty, you know what I mean? Like, I was literally just generally sharing my results. But in my opinion, I don't think you uploaded it knowing it was going to expose you. I think your intentions were right. You wanted to show people the process of getting blood work, checking where your levels are at, the process of potentially getting prescribed testosterone, TRT, but you didn't think it would play out how it did and people realize that you claim natural, but yet your levels are 21 nanograms per deciliter, which would mean you basically intentionally crashed your testosterone levels to get prescribed testosterone or to be where you were at. So your low sex drive, at least from what I can tell, isn't like in my previous video, gonna be from your genetics and just being like that in your entire life. It would be because you abused whatever you were taking for a long period of time. And I am talking to have a 21 nanogram per deciliter test result, you were gonna have to be so severely crashed. You would either be taking something so extremely strong or for such a long duration of time that his testosterone production is at absolute zero, basically. 21 is pretty much close to zero. Like I mentioned, I mean, grandmas would have a higher test level. First of all, let me tell you right now, I'm 100% natural and I stand by that 1000%, never have taken anything in my entire Dude, life. Dude, just take my advice. I even left a comment on this video, bro, just tell the truth, my biggest advice, as soon as he released the video, you will gain so much more respect don't continue, this is that classic saying like, don't keep digging your hole deeper with a lie because what this is gonna happen or what's gonna happen after this is because you told this lie, people are gonna make more responses like how I currently am reacting to it. You're gonna have to make another lie to cover up this lie and it's just this ongoing process where you are just gonna keep digging your hole deeper and deeper. Just open up, say, yo, I'm not natural. Unless you're chasing like, I mean, shit, who knows? Maybe you're chasing a Gymshark sponsorship and you want that more than anything. But then at that point, I will probably make a video where we can reevaluate your life choices because that is not something you wanna do. Trust me, take my advice on that one if you're not gonna take my advice on opening up about being 
unnatural. Seeing all these comments uh, that are like, oh, and you know, like it's literally impossible for you to have the body you have with the test results you have. But it's funny because I'm an example of it. But besides the point, right? In Greg's video too, he said that I have acne. Dude, and the thing is, I also, I commended him. I said he's in incredible shape. He looks phenomenal. Regardless if he's natural or not, he looks really good. I mean, year round too, he's diced, he's shredded. He takes good photos. He makes good content. But the natty or not, just open up. Be transparent. And yes, if you were at 21 nanograms per deciliter, for you to look like you do, it just doesn't make sense. It physically does not make sense. Now you could definitely suppress your testosterone levels a little bit if let's say you were on a caloric deficit prepping for a show or you know your hormones do become out of balance just naturally with time being in a caloric deficit, but not to the level of 21. <laughs> 21 nanograms per deciliter. Now we know Bradley Martin is out here juicing up teenagers since the beginning of time, but hey, you know, for you to go out, mention myself, Greg Doucette, more plates, more dates. I mean, you're kind of asking for a bunch of videos to be made on you. That's like uniting the Power Rangers all together. It's Morphin Time! Dragonzor! Mastodon! Triceratops! I have acne, it's because I'm on, I'm on SARMs. He obviously didn't do any prior research because I've struggled with acne growing up my entire life. Really bad acne, which is why I went into Accutane, right? And when I was on the Accutane, Accutane, for those of you who don't know, it's like a really strong acne medication that it cleared up my skin and I was on it for on and off for probably almost like two years um, and it, it has a lot of side effects I know it can like affect like the hormones and all that other stuff so I was on that then it like made me feel kind of weird like I went off of it it cleared my skin up a little bit but it still comes back every now and then dude I'm also pretty sure that so his it looks like his reason for this video or his reasoning of why he states he took down the first video is because more play, he knew more place, more dates was gonna make a video. He knew Greg Doucette was gonna make a video. He knew I was gonna make a video and he didn't wanna feed into that at all. Is it seems like that's his response for why he removed the video. But there was also an Instagram comment, it's probably been removed now would be my guess, or he would be smart to remove it if he hasn't already. But he said that he removed it because there was like a potential lawsuit or something with the clinic he filmed at and they threatened to sue him because he wasn't supposed to film the footage. I haven't personally seen the comment, but if that is the case, then his story is very rapidly changing. Every now and then. And so that was happening, then I've been overtraining. Well, and like I know I've been overtraining, right? Just cause like I said, I've moved out to LA and I'm, I'm doing all this, you know, creating content, collabing with people, doing all this other stuff. I've been, so I've been overtraining like twice a day, every single day, um, which I don't recommend by the way. But then also I haven't been eating, definitely not eating enough or as much as I should be because when you get to a certain level, so, so far his reasonings for being at his low 21 nanogram per deciliter blood levels of testosterone is because Accutane, training as long and as hard as he has been, and then not eating enough. Okay, Accutane, it helps with acne. Yes, it's not gonna crash your levels to 21 nanograms per deciliter. That's non-existent. That would be the most severe side effect of all time. No one would ever take Accutane that is a male or even female because females need testosterone as well. No one would ever take Accutane because being at absolute zero testosterone, for instance, would make you feel like complete and utter shit. I am talking, you wouldn't even be able to function. You wouldn't be able to wake up in the morning. You wouldn't have enough energy. You would have no sex drive. Basically non-existent kind of like the number zero on your testosterone. You would just be non-existent. There's nothing you would wanna do. You wouldn't be able to function. So if Accutane were to cause that, along with training super hard and not eating enough calories or not getting enough meals, it's just not the case, man. I can guarantee it was probably Trenbolone, probably Winstraw, probably Deca, D-Ball, testosterone, any of the compounds that are suppressive to your natural testosterone you probably took for a little far too long, decided to come off to do your blood work video and show that your levels were low. I don't know, maybe it was a subtle flex where you wanted to show that you have this crazy physique that at your 21 nanogram per deciliter level, and then it backfired because you didn't think people would actually look into it. I mean, there's so much to this. It's actually quite entertaining. Physique, you, you like the way you look. For me, it's all mental. I just gotta get over 
the the fact that I you know I might put on a little bit more body fat, so it, it'll make me feel a little better, make me feel better in the gym or whatever. But um, so it's just that mental thing. So the Accutane, I kind of went off. It was making me feel weird, and then the whole the whole just overtraining, the, like the under eating. That's the reason why I wanted to get my blood work done, and I wanted just to share that with you guys, and I wanted to to just be as transparent as possible and be like, hey guys, this is what I've been doing, and this is what. The results have been, now I'm gonna to try to fix it. I'm gonna, I'm increasing my calories, I'm increasing them by about like 300. So I was eating 21 to 23 prior, now I'm, I'm bumping it up to about 24 to 2500, see how that's gonna go. Maybe that'll, that'll fix anything. Um. Dude, my man <laughs> was still eating more calories for his quote unquote, what's causing his low testosterone levels of the 21. He was still eating more than I was in the final weeks of my contest prep when I was taking compounds and steroids and SARMs and everything. And my level was still higher than 21 nanograms per deciliter. In my previous video, I mentioned it was somewhere in the 120s was my blood work after I got off of everything. This man was at 21 and I was eating less calories than him, and I'm definitely taller than him, much more body weight than him. My calories were far too low, but that's a story for a whole nother time. But this this guy's logic is just the greatest thing. Um, I'm gonna start taking like vitamins and like zinc, fish oils, you know, stuff like that to try to, uh, to try to help it out. And then also in Greg's video, like when he was reacting to to my video, he was saying that when the the girl was telling me about my results and stuff, and that how I like I didn't have reaction, and like I was kind of just like, oh, what? It's like only 21. It's because I genuinely like didn't know that that was like a bad thing. Like at the end of my video, I said, I said, oh guys, all right. So this proves that like you know I'm natural because to me, being like I thought that having high test levels would mean that you're on testosterone. But I so I thought that having low test guys take notes. This is fake natty logic. This is how they rationale it. Okay, they think you know what? If I go and do my blood work, I'm gonna I'm gonna blast this crazy ass cycle. I'm gonna get huge. I'm gonna get jacked as fuck. And then when I get questioned about being natural or not, and they want proof, they want the results, I'm gonna go get blood work, but I'm gonna come off of everything, get that blood work to show that my levels are absolute zero to prove that I am natural. Test means that I literally just didn't know. Like I'm not super sciencey. I you know I dropped out of school. That's so why I'm not moving to LA and I'm doing this whole fitness thing. Um, but yeah, like I just genuinely didn't know. And then and then apparently everyone was saying, oh yeah, your test is so low because you must have abused some SARMs, steroids, whatever, and you didn't do a, a post cycle therapy, or whatever. Which this is not the case at all. You know what I mean? Like I'm, and like I said it before and I'll say it again. I mean, it's not the case at all because he didn't run the post cycle therapy to bounce his natural levels back. That's where you went wrong. You know, you made that wrong turn. It was supposed to be a left. You took a right. Thousand percent natural. At the end of the day, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get my blood work results done again in a different place. See if they, um, they, the results are any different. And then I'm gonna compare them. I'm gonna go to endocrine, endo, what are they called? Endocrinologist. Yeah, like a real blood work, uh, like blood doctor specialist, I guess. Um, get that figured out because at the end of the day. As much as I look good on the outside, I have to take care of the inside as well. And that's why I try to show you guys, right? Like, I want you guys to be healthy. I want you guys to, this is why. So the thing is, when he goes, he says he's going to go get his blood work at other places, your number isn't going to miraculously go from your 21 to a normal healthy range. Let's say somewhere between like 300 and 1,000. It's just not going to happen, my man. I'm sorry. It's probably going to come back at the same exact level of 21. You're just wasting your money at that point. Because I'm pretty sure Bradley Martin's clinic, I haven't been there, I'm not too familiar with it. I th I'm pretty sure it's like a TRT clinic, it's a health clinic. He should have an endocrinologist working there. So, nah, I, I don't get the logic in that one. This is why I do, like, I love this, you know what I mean? I love this whole, the whole fitness thing. I love being, you know, an influencer and just sharing my, my life, my experiences, my journey. And as much as I want to, like, be healthy and promote See, the thing, I, I'm actually happy he threw in the word influencer. As much as I hate the word influencer, I just get reminded that some people call me influencer and I absolutely hate it. Influencer, very important key word. He, he considers himself an influencer. So I want you to sit back Isaiah and think about influence. You are influencing your crowd, you know, whether that's your 12,000 subscribers on YouTube or your larger following on Instagram that was close to, I believe off the top of my head, like 300,000. You are influencing people with every single video, every single piece of content you put out. Now, if you were sitting behind the camera talking about being natural or not, and you were saying you were natural, you were just lying to that many people. You were not influencing them in a positive light or in a way you should be. Now, I've learned over the years, YouTube, I've made plenty of 
mistakes. I have made numerous mistakes. You know, obviously people wish they could make changes and change the things that they did wrong. But I mean, I believe at least to the best of my extent, I grew from my mistakes. I learned from my mistakes and I want to continue to tell people information about the fitness industry and whatever type of content gets presented. But you should just open up. That is my advice in your comment section. That's my advice in this video. Be transparent. That's what is trendy. Not only will you get more views, I guarantee that as well. People are going to be more receptive to you. They're going to definitely see a more genuine side to you. Just be 100% honest. It always wins in the end. And promote health, fitness, and all that other stuff. It's also just, I, I want you just to go chase your dreams. Do what, you, do what you want to do, and that's my biggest thing. Just put the work in, do what you have to do, and you could, you could achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. And that's, I've always tried to push that to you guys. And for all you guys that have been following me, for a while and you, you know you've been you've been like loyal to me and even when i had no followers before i moved to la like you guys know that like i am like i'm such a hard worker you know what i mean and and, and it, it sucks that people see the physique that i've worked so hard for because i'm disciplined as hell i, I work at, i work my ass off you know i eat good I, I sacrifice a lot and then they're so quick to jump oh Oh, Greg Duchette, uh, more plates, more dates. Oh, he, they say he's he's not natty. Oh, he's not natty. Oh, yeah, you're fake natty. You're lying to everyone, what, which is not true. Though. So for all you guys that support me and you keep telling me to, you know, block out the haters and just keep doing what I'm doing, thank you. I appreciate it. And I mean, definitely block out the haters. I would offer that advice as well. Also, tell the truth about your natural status and how you actually got to 21 nanograms per deciliter. I'm sorry, bro, that just doesn't happen. I don't even think there's like one in a million odds of that happening. Guys, what we can take away from low testosterone symptoms, I thought it'd be interesting to throw that in this video. Complete loss of libido, that's a given. Impotent, so you're not gonna be able to get anyone pregnant. Severe ED, erectile dysfunction. Tender and enlarged breast. I don't see that on him, but that's definitely a potential side effect. Obviously, none of these are going to sound good. So why would he be okay with being at 21 nanograms per deciliter? This is why you should never intentionally crash your testosterone levels because you are setting yourself up for so many internal issues. Osteoporosis, depression, hot flashes, weight gain, severe fatigue, anemia, high cholesterol. Not one beneficial thing to having low testosterone. So do not do it. Get your blood work done. Check where your levels are at. Make sure you are healthy. For all you guys that keep saying I'm fake natty, blah, blah, all sort of stuff, it honestly, like, it doesn't really bother me because I know my truth at the end of the day. I just didn't want to keep feeding into um, the Greg Doucette, Kenny Ko, um, more plates, more days. I don't want to keep feeding into exactly what they want, which is bringing people down, which is essentially actually just bullying people at the end of the day just to make themselves look good, to make them more money and to do all their stuff. Bro, I can tell you it's not to make me look good because if anything, the amount of content I have made on people due to their like hardcore fans have made me look worse than it has made me look better. I just try and speak on the truth of what's actually happening and going on. Here's, here's what I'm kind of left with, the final conclusion. Isaiah, you have two options or two solutions. You can one, continue down the path you were on, claiming natural to the very end, living out your life like Mike O'Hearn, or option number two, which is the one I more highly recommend, you open up about being unnatural. But just remember when you open up, please be careful.